Hello YouTube, bro. my name is Nicholas Montez and you're watching my YouTube channel, The Teenage Mini Critic. And today we are doing another celebration of cinema review for one of my personal favorite movies. Uh, and that is Mean Girls. So this is, it, and uh, this is a movie that, uh, it's kind of interesting because now that I'm officially in high school, I can definitely say this. It is the be one of the best high school movies that I've ever seen. Mainly because all the stuff that happens in this movie kind of is relatable to what happens in real life. Now, obviously, it's a 2000s movie, so maybe school in the, in the 2000s era was probably different back then, or it was different 20 years ago. But you can tell that that's kind of what is going on, and you kind of wish that's how it happened in real life. But let's just go ahead and get started talking about Mean Girls. And what I absolutely love about this movie is one of the story. I love talking about stories when it comes to movies because it's just the best part. And the story for this movie is quite great. Where you have this girl, Katie Heron, played by Lindsay Lohan, who has been homeschooled her whole life. And is now, and she was in Africa, and now she's coming to her very first high school, her first school ever. And... She starts, and what's so interesting about this is they establish high school as a world in in of itself. I think, like, it, it kind of reminded me, like, obviously, I've seen Mean Girls way before this, but uh, it kind of, in a way, this reminds me of what they did with the Diary of a, of a Wimpy Kid films. Obviously, I saw this after Mean Girls. This movie, these movies came out after Mean Girls. But in a way, Diary of a Wimpy Kid is a similar similar case because Diary of a Wimpy Kid is the exploration of the world of middle schoolers and how to survive middle school. This film is a new student who has been homeschooled her whole life and the way they establish the world, the way that you kind of see of how, like when they're at the mall and you have like, and they're like, uh, like it's like the wall, it's like a water hole in, the, in Africa and you hear all the animal sounds and all the way the little imagination that Katie has and little narrations that she does, it's its really good storytelling. Um, but even in the way they establish like certain groups of people, you got the Plastics, which is Regina George's group. You got the the best people you'll ever meet, the the people who eat for their feelings, like all that, that stuff, like they create a fascinating world. And, uh, and, and they, they say all these lines throughout the entire film that like make sense because that's really how high schoolers are. And that's really what high school life is like. And I honestly appreciate that and loved that where it tells a story about people hating on each other, talking about them behind their backs. And somehow as you progress throughout the, through the next year, all of that drama is now over with. It's solved, it's done, and they've moved on. And people have moved on better with their lives. And that's kind of something that I kind of wish, th that is something that I personally need to work on. Now me personally, no nothing really in my high school life, because a lot of stuff, and I, and I gotta tell you, stuff, a, a lot of stuff has happened a lot last year in night. But in some parts, I've kind of gotten over it. But it's mostly, it's just stupid stuff. And in some parts, I think, that, like, even this summer, I actually plan to, like, you know, focus on myself and do my own thing and get myself straight so that way I can come to 11th grade and have a great time. Even if I'm bored, I can still have a fun time and just do whatever. And so yeah, th that's the kind of story I love. With that said, let's move on to the characters. And obviously, I think the characters in the, the, this movie are great. There are so many great characters. Of course, li this might be Lindsay Lohan's best movie, I will say. Obviously, I do like The Parent Trap and Freaky Friday. And I, I did like some of her newer movies that she's making with Irish Wish and Falling for Christmas on Netflix. 
But this is one of her best movies. This is the one that I always go back to. And also, she's the prettiest in it. She's, this is probably the prettiest movie she's ever been in. Uh, you also get uh, the girl from Ted 2. I can't remember her name. You also get the girl that plays Gretchen. She actually played, with, I uh, believe, adult Vitani in The Lion King 2. And Vitani in The Lion Guard. Uh, and then, of course, you got Rachel McAdams, which, in a way, this movie put her on the map to be one of the great actors. You also got a guy that plays Mr. Duvall. Really good actor. Uh, you also got Tina Fey, which in a way that, that, that this movie was also my introduction to Tina Fey. I can't think of anything else. Uh, I believe Megamind and Soul were the other films that I watched of her. Uh, so yeah, the whole cast is just brilliant. Everyone plays, everyone feels like they're that kind of guy in high school. And they just fit so well into their roles. From the way Janice acts to the way uh, Damien acts. It's like, they, they're so funny. It, it feels like people that you know in real life. And it's so great, I love it. Now let's talk about the comedy. And the final thing we'll talk about here is the comedy. As I was just watching it, or finishing watching it, this movie is hilarious. There are just so many unique and great jokes in this film. One of the funniest moments that I remember, like, and, and it really just comes down to dialogue and in the way that the characters act and the way they, they say things, like, this is how my hair color is. Or even, like, like one of the big scene stealers is Damien, who, like, when he's in the girl's bathroom with, with Janice and Katie, he's like, hey, get, and, the, and then the girl over there is like, hey, get out of here, and he's like, Danny DeVito, I love your work! Like, it, it's so hilarious, and then and then he's like, I love my pink shirt back, or or Janice, I, I can't stop this car, I have a curfew. At 1 a.m., but now it's 1:10. Uh, but the funniest line in the whole movie is when you got we got uh, all the girls saying their apologies to everyone, and you have that girl that doesn't go to the school, and she's kind of getting emotional and being like, I wish we could do what we did in middle school and make we make cake and be happy, and then he's like, she doesn't even go here. Like, like, it, it, it started to get emotional and then it ends up being so funny in the end. <laughs> I'm like, how how can this guy be so funny, man? So, yeah, this movie is great. It finds a great way to be funny, have enjoyable characters, but at the same time, just tell a great story with girl drama in high school and what it would be like if someone if someone it was someone's first year at high school would be it's interesting so that's my review for mean girls 2004 thank you guys for watching really hope you enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye